بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ ریشیس دا موسٹ مرسیفل لیٹس بگن ود دا کوٹ آف دا ڈے اف یو چینج دا وے یو لک ایٹ تھینکس دا تھنگس یو لک ایٹ چینج آئی ایم ڈاکٹر آمنا خان آئی بی پریزینٹنگ دا کریٹیکل اپریزل آف این آرٹیکل ٹو ڈے انڈر دی سپروویژن آف مائی موسٹ آنریبل موسٹ رسپیکٹیبل پروفیسر ڈاکٹر سائرہ افضل ٹوڈیز آرٹیکل دا ٹائٹل فار دا آرٹیکل ایس prevention of incident and recurrent major depression in older adults with insomnia uh, a randomized clinical trial i'll be using consort checklist for my critical appraisal today here is the checklist let's begin with the title uh, the title is prevention of incident and recurrent major depression in older adults with insomnia a randomized clinical trial Identification as a randomized trial in the title is mentioned. Now the abstract. The abstract uh, has the following headings, uh, importance, objective, design, setting, and participants, interventions, main outcome and measures, results, conclusion and relevance, and the trial registration. Uh, the objective is to examine whether the treatment of insomnia disorder with cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia compared with an active comparator condition sleep education therapy SET prevents major depressive disorder in older adults. The design setting and participants uh, this assessor blinded parallel group single site randomized clinical trial assessed a community based sample of 431 people and enrolled 291 adults 60 years or older with insomnia disorder. who had no major depression or major uh, health events in past years the recruitment uh, study recruitment was performed from july 1 2012 to april 30 2015 the trial protocol was modified to extend follow up from 24 to 36 months with follow up complete completion in july 2018 data analysis was, uh, was performed from march 1 2019 to march 30 2020 interventions Participants were randomized to two months of CBT or SET. Main outcome and measures are also mentioned. Uh, the primary outcome was time to incident major de uh, depressive disorder as diag diagnosed by interview and diagnostic and statistical manual and mental disorders, DSM uh, criteria. Secondary outcome was sustained remission of insomnia disorder before depression, event or duration of follow-up. Results. Among 291 randomized participants, once, uh, 156 were randomized to CBT-1 and 135 to SET. A total of 140 participants completed uh, uh, CBT-1 and 130 participants completed SET, with 114 uh, completing 24 months of follow-up in the CBT-1 group and 117 in the SET group. Conclusion and Relevance The findings of this randomized clinical trial indicate that the treatment of insomnia with CBT-1 has an overall benefic benefit in the prevention of incident and uh, recurrent major depression in older adults with, ins uh, with insomnia disorder. Community-level screening for insomnia concerns in older adults and wide delivery of CBT-1-based treatment for insomnia could sub uh, substantially advance public health efforts to treat insomnia and prevent uh, depression in this uh, vulnerable older adult population they have mentioned the trial registration number now according to the checklist in the structured summary the trial design is mentioned methods mentioned results mentioned and conclusions are also mentioned introduction so um in the introduction a uh, late night late night depression major depressive disorder in adults more than 60 years has a 12 uh, month prevalence that exceeds 10% in community dwelling older adults and is a significant risk factor for cognitive decline disability medical com comorbidity and all cause mortality with suicide rates highest for uh, for the older men they have mentioned the scientific background in the uh, first two paragraphs and um, then they have claimed uh, uh, they have given findings from the different studies Uh, neither study demonstrated prevention of major depression uh, depression a key uncertainty is whether uh, the depression can be selectively prevented using the evidence informed psycho behavioral treatments that target insomnia and whether this benefit can be achieved in older adults without depression but with insomnia disorder 
In this selective prevention trial, we present primary endpoint results during 36 months of follow-up in which we examined whether CPT-1 compared with SCT and active comparator condition would prevent incident or recurrent major depressive disorder as uh, older adults with, as defined by the DSM-5 criteria in community dwelling older adults with insomnia disorder and minimal depressive symptoms. Secondary analysis accounted for sustained remission of insomnia disorder before a depression event or through throughout follow-up. Now, uh, oh, according to the checklist, the scientific background is mentioned. Explanation of rationale is there. They have mentioned the specific objective, but there is no hypothesis here. Methods. Trial design and oversight. Study recruitment was performed from July 1, 2012 to April 30, 2015. After screening of 431 people and enrollment of 60 participants, this assessor-blinded single-site randomized uh, clinical trial found that the incidence of depression was lower than estimated. The trial protocol was modified with follow-up extended from 24 to 36 months to achieve an adequate number of events for analysis. With follow-up completion in July 2018, total trial enrollment was 291 participants. Data analysis was performed from March 1, 2019 to March 30, 2020. Participants provided in written uh, informed consent as approved by the UCLA University of California, Los uh, Angeles. Institutional Review Board. Participants, <clears throat> sample of adults 60 years or older adults was identified using a database of all available telephone numbers and mailing addresses of households with at least one person 60 years or older adults who resided within 15 miles of UCLA, uh, a sim similar to sampling methods used in the national surveys. Screening eligibility assessed general sleep disturb uh, disturbances, uh, that is Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index, more than five and depression, uh, that is 10 item uh, center for epidemiological studies, depression score less than four. Interviews confirm the following including criteria in somnia disorder by DSM-4 and absence of DSM-4 or DSM-5, major depression within the last 12 months. Trial procedures, <clears throat> participants were randomly allocated in a one-on-one one -on -one ratio to CBT-1 or SET. Randomization was performed using computerized uh, generated random number sequence with block size from 510 participants by an independent researcher. Allocation uh, concealment used sequentially uh, numbered opaque sealed envelopes with a treatment allocation after baseline. Assessors were blinded to allocation. Uh, they have uh, mentioned about the interventions as well. The CPT-1 and SCT interventions were delivered by a trained psychologist or trained public health educator in weekly 120 group uh, sessions for two months consistent with group format and duration of most CPT-1 trials. Uh, outcomes, the primary outcome was uh, time to incident or recurrent major depressive disorder was diagnosed, diagnosed by the structured clinical interview of the DSM-5 every uh, six months during 36 months of follow-up. Score range from the PHQ-9 uh, is from 0 to 27. Statistical analysis, the primary outcome uh, incident DSM-5 major depression was analyzed with time to event methods using a Cox proportional hazard regression mo model. The scaled Schoenfeld, uh, Schoenfeld residual test assessed the uh, proportion hazard uh, assumption. Um, all participants DSM-4 insomnia disorder criteria uh, after study uh, met the DSM-4 insomnia disorder criteria. Uh, after study enrollment began in 2012, the duration criteria for insomnia disorder were revised by DSM-5 hence was conducted in the subsample who met DSM-5 insomnia disorder. Sensitivity analysis estimated the con uh, consistency of treatment effect across the subgroups. Uh, exploratory analysis examined a sample characteristics by treatment group as functional to explore effect uh, as function. To explore effects of missing data on the primary outcome, sensitivity analysis uh, uh, a sensitivity analysis um, modeled in uh, uh, sensi sensitivity analysis were performed. Finally, uh, exploratory analysis examined the trajectory of change in the depressive symptoms. Now, according to the checklist, description of trial design mentioned, important change to uh, methods after trial commencement given, eligibility criteria for participants mentioned, setting and uh, locations where the data were collected mentioned, uh, the intervention for each group given, Define pre-specified uh, primary and secondary outcome measures mentioned. Any change to trial outcomes after the trial commenced not given. How sample size was determined mentioned. Randomization. 
method used to generate the random allocation sequence given type of randomization details of any restriction such as blocking and block size mentioned mechanism used to implement the random allocation sequence given who generated the random uh, allocation sequence who enrolled participants and who assigned participants to uh, interventions um, given if relevant uh, description of the similarity of interventions mentioned uh, statistical methods used to compare groups for primary and secondary outcomes are given methods for addition, uh, additional analysis such as subgroup analysis and, uh, and adjusted analysis are given. Uh, now the results, participants and treatment. Among 291 randomized participants, 156 were randomized to CBT1 and 135 to SET. Groups had based uh, balanced baseline characteristics. Um, uh, they are mentioned in the table and among the 123 with the history of depression, 116 reported depression more than two years earlier. Depressive symptoms, severity within minimal range. Uh, now, they have also given a flow chart here, which mentioned uh, the uh, screening eligibility assessment, treatment delivery, and follow up evaluation uh, are given in the methods. So, uh, according to the flow chart, you can see that the part a participant, 431 participants were assessed for the eligibility, 66 were ineligible, and uh, 70, uh, 74 were not randomized. Uh, the 16 absence of, uh, for the six, 66 who were ineligible, 16 uh, were uh, showing the absence of insomnia disorder, 14 were the other, 13 uh, were the other, and 13, uh, jo, uh, the, the current psychiatric, uh, psychiatric disorder, and 10 uh, were the medical, uh, were with the medical conditions. Uh, so out of the 291 par uh, participants who were randomized, uh, 156 were randomized to CBT1, 156 received CBT1, uh, the 135 were randomized to SET and 135 uh, received SET. Uh, for uh, the uh, then the 140 uh, completed the CBT1 and 129 completed the six one uh, six uh, month follow up. And among uh, the 135 who were randomized to SET, 130 completed SET and 128 completed the six month follow up, and so on. And then uh, after that, 123 uh, completed a 12 month follow up in the CBT. And 160, uh, 16 completed 18 month follow up, and 114 completed the 24 month follow up. And then the flow chart continues, and they have given uh, the uh, uh, at the end that 156 were included in the analysis, uh, uh, and 135 included in the analysis. Uh, they have also shown the uh, the figures showing the adherence and follow up uh, retention. Uh, here is a, a figure showing the risk of incident or recurrent major depression uh, in, in the, the, as the primary outcome in the subgroups. Uh, they have given us the uh, HR for the incident or recurrent depression that is 95% confidence interval. Primary outcome, the primary outcome incident or recurrent major depression uh, occurred in 119 participants in the CBT1 group and uh, in 135 participants in the SCT group. The adjusted HR for the depression in the CBT1 group compared with the SCT group was 0.45. 95% confidence interval. Uh, the uh, secondary outcome, the adjusted uh, HR for depression was 0.17 in the CBT1 group with insomnia, uh, insomnia remission, in the CBT1 group with no insomnia remission, and 0 0.68, 95% confidence interval in the SCT group with the insomnia remission compared with the SCT group with no insomnia remission. Uh, adverse events, no adverse events were observed during the treatment. During follow-up, serious events were identified in the CBT1 group, four illnesses and one death, and SCT group, one death, none were attributed to the trial. Now, according to the checklist, for each group, the numbers of participants who were randomly assigned received attended, uh, intended treatment and were analyzed for the primary outcome. For each group, losses and uh, exclusions after randomization together with the reasons given, why the trial ended was uh, or stopped was not mentioned. Dates defining the periods of uh, recruitment and follow-up mentioned. A table showing baseline demographic and clinical characteristics for each group given. Uh, for each group, number of participants included in each analysis and whether the analysis was uh, by regional assigned groups uh, given for each primary and secondary outcome results for each group and the estimated effect size and its precision such as 95% confidence interval mentioned. Results of any other analysis performed, including subgroup analysis and adjusted analysis, distinguishing pre-specified form uh, from exploratory, given all important harms or unintended effects in the, uh, each group, they have uh, told us about this. Discussion. Uh, they have uh, mentioned the overall benefits. This overall benefit was generally consistent uh, across the participant subgroups. In addition, 
CBT-1 provided benefit in sustained remission of insomnia disorder and durable treatment of insomnia magnified in the, uh, the benefit of CBT-1 to prevent incident and recurrent major depression. Most prior trials assessed prevention using different types of omnibus, uh, omnibus therapies, whereas this selective prevention trial targeted insomnia disorder um, a robust risk factor for depression. Given that most uh, prior uh, trials did not use any active comparator control, as done in this uh, current trial, this relatively large survival benefit of CBT-1 is striking. The selective uh, prevention trial is one of the largest, with the longest of follow-up follow 28 to answer an important clinical question of high relevance to, uh, to uh, the geriatric psychiatry and older adults at risk for incident and recurrent depression. Uh, internal validity was established. External validity was maximized by long-term follow-up with the annual incidence of depression in SCT was uh, CBT, one similar to population estimates for those with uh, and without insomnia, respectively. They have mentioned the limitations as well. Uh, the um, Although there was a difficult a differential rate of uh, discontinuation in the first 24 months after treatment, this finding was not related to treatment expectancy or sample characteristics, such as depressive symptoms, um, uh, which can uh, alter adherence to CBT-1. Given that a disproportionate burden of risk of insomnia and depression is carried by females and those who are of races other than white or have psychiatric and medical comorbidity, external variety in the subgroups requires further research. According to the checklist, uh, trial limitations, imprecision, uh, and if relevant, mul multi uh, multiplicity, multiplicity of analysis, they have mentioned the limitations and a generalizability, external variety, application of the trial findings uh, mentioned. Interpretation uh, consist consistent with results, balancing the benefits and harms, and considering other relevant evidence given. Uh, conclusions um, in this trial of older adults without depression but with insomnia disorder, delivery, delivery of CBT1 prevented incident and uh, recurrent major depressive disorder by more than 50% compared with SCT and active comparator. Uh, uh, other information? According to the checklist, registration number and number of trial registry, uh, registry is mentioned. Uh, where the full trial protocol can be uh, accessed if available is given. Sources of funding and other support such as supply of drugs, rules of funders. They have uh, mentioned the sources of funding as well. Strengths. So um, title is self-explanatory with type of study. Abstract includes all subheadings with explanation. Methodology is well explained. Results show association of different parameters and elabor uh, elabor elaborated in form of tabulation. And they have mentioned the flow charts as well. Limitation of studies mentioned and of the study uh, is mentioned. Statistical analysis is explained uh, relatively well. And way forward uh, and the strengths of the study uh, is also mentioned. Limitations. Um, as they have already mentioned earlier, uh, the external validity in the subgroup requires further research. And they have given the reasoning as well. Uh, biases are uh, biases are not addressed properly, and there is no uh, not any uh, geographical representation of results. Rationale, rationale is mentioned, but it's relatively weak, and uh, randomization could have been improved. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Here is the link of the present uh, of the page. Uh, uh, kindly please uh, go. Uh, all the videos are uh, uploaded there. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Amna Imdad.